Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is a Friday so it is weigh in day. If you missed last week's weigh in, I hit 101.3 pounds down and my goal was to be 100 pounds down and I did it, I surpassed it. It was a fantastic weigh in, it was a super amazing video. And on that note, I wanna thank all of you for your love and support and your kind comments on me officially hitting 100 pounds down. I did go ahead and post here on my community tab on YouTube, in my Facebook group, and on my Instagram, any questions that you have on me losing 100 pounds, anything that you want to know. So if you missed that video or missed the post for the questions, leave any questions you have down in the comments so that I can film a Q&A of 100 pounds lost video. I'd love to help you and answer your questions and give you any support and encouragement that you need. So leave your questions down below. Today we're going to talk all about my week, my weigh-in, and of course the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and make sure your bell's turned on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday. I also upload five days a week, so you never want to miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links, discounts to all of my favorite things. And lastly, come on over, join my Facebook group. That's how you keep up with me day to day, and we'd love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump into my weigh-in, my week, and the WW workshop topic. <laughs> Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing week. I hope you had a wonderful Easter Sunday. We had a great Easter. It was a very low key. We ended up going to my in-laws for an Easter brunch and then they took us by their old house. They live in Green Valley, Arizona, if you didn't know. We live in Sawaita, Arizona, which is about a seven minute drive from them. And we had never seen the house that they live in now, which is a new build that they built a couple years ago or their old house that they lived in when they were snowbirds. So they actually took us by their first house that they purchased in Green Valley. And then we went and played horseshoes and shuffleboard at the local club that they're part of. It was so fun. It was super low key, but it was super, super fun. And then after we played a little bit of shuffleboard and horseshoes, we went and walked at this beautiful garden in Green Valley, Arizona. It was full of flowers and different cactus and plants. And there were benches to sit and relax and read a book. It was just absolutely stunning. And it's definitely a park that I plan on visiting again. So it was a great Easter. I stayed on track. We didn't have any type of Easter candy or dessert and brunch was delicious. My in-laws are very healthy. So we had a very healthy brunch and my mother-in-law made it and it was incredible. And it was just really great to spend it with them and just have a low key but physical day as well where we were able to play some games and take a walk in the park. It was absolutely wonderful. So I wanna hear from you guys too how your Easter was. So let me know down in the comments. I also started officially working on getting my real estate license here in Arizona. The program is very different than when I got my real estate license in Washington. In Washington, I was able to do the entire course online. Here in Arizona, you either have to attend in person or you have to be part of live streaming, which basically means you need to be on Zoom on camera for four, five, nine hours a day, depending on what courses you take. It is a 90 hour course. So I decided to break it up between in-person classes and live streaming. So this last Monday, I actually went to an in-person class for almost 10 hours. It was a very long day. It was very interesting though. Although the concepts of real estate is the same, the forms and how Arizona does it is a little bit different. So it was really, really interesting. And then I got to meet some of the other people that are looking to get their Arizona license as well. It was lots of sitting. I did pack my lunch. I packed some water. I stayed on track that day. And really I wasn't super hungry because I sat 90% of the day. We've been getting settled into our house. And in fact, stay tuned on Sunday for my home tour. I'm so excited to finally be able to bring you guys my home tour. We are settled. We have all of our furniture, everything we need. We are decorated. We are ready to live here full time. So I'm excited to share with you my home tour. So again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you're notified when that video goes live on Sunday. So overall, I had a fantastic week. A busy week, but a fantastic week. Before I jump into this week's weigh-in, let's talk a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is how to eat 
more mindfully. We've talked all about mindfulness and mindfulness when it comes to eating, mindfulness when it comes to your weight loss journey, but today we're going to focus on mindfully eating which is essential to weight loss. Have you ever eaten something because it was well sitting there? Same, and that's actually completely normal. Next time, pause and ask yourself the five S's before you take a bite. Do you only want to eat that food because number one, you can see and smell it. We're visual people and eating food is very visual. When food looks good, we're much more tempted to eat it. When it smells good, we're much more tempted to eat it. Or number two, do you wanna eat it because of the situation that you're in? Maybe you're at a dinner party or an event and there's food everywhere, so you're put in a situation where food is all around you. Number three, is it because of how it sounds? Is it sizzling on the stove? Is it bubbling in the crock pot? Does the sound of the food draw you towards it? Number four is do you think it's special? Is it a special occasion or is it a dish or a dessert or a main item that's only around and special occasions? So if you answered yes to any of these questions, I know I definitely did, take a break and think about why and what you're going to do when you encounter any of these situations. The food is right there. It's an act of science. It's part of being a human being. When we can see and smell food that looks and smells delicious, we instantly want to eat it whether we're hungry or not. Maybe if you walk away from that food, the smell will dissipate. You won't be able to see it anymore, out of sight, out of mind. And that could be the difference on whether or not you eat that food just because it smells and looks good. Or maybe the food is part of the experience. Popcorn at the movie, dessert after a fancy meal. When we're used to pairing events and food together, it can make it really hard to say no. Shake off that thinking of gift wrapping these two things together. If you're not hungry for dessert after your fancy meal at the fancy restaurant, you don't have to have it. Or maybe you can go to the movies and not splurge on popcorn. It doesn't have to be part of the experience if you mindfully decide that you just don't want it. Next is the food is special. You know that limited edition donut or that favorite side dish that your in-laws bring to events. Or maybe it's a childhood favorite that you thought was discontinued. Food can seem important to us for many, many reasons. Do you actually want it or do you just want the memory of it? That's where mindfulness comes in. Think about whether or not you really want that food or is it just that special memory that's pulling you towards it? And lastly, maybe the food just sounds good. Maybe pizza sounds good. Maybe a donut or a candy bar or a cookie sounds good to you. This is the reason why menus have certain words like buttery, creamy, sweet. These are all words that makes the food sound good and makes us want it. Read the menu again. Think of those foods without those adjectives, without creamy, dreamy, delicious, and sweet. Take that out of the equation and how does the food sound now to you? Once you recognize what triggers your external hunger, now we've talked all about external hunger, that's when you're not really hungry and internal is when you're biologically hungry. Once you figure out what triggers your external hunger, it's easier to say no to things just because it sounds good, smells good, looks good, or is part of a special occasion. No matter what you choose, whether you choose to indulge in that or not, either way is okay, but noticing and being mindful of your decisions is what this week's workshop topic is all about and is really a key to success. Mindfulness in food, mindfulness in eating, mindfulness in life is so incredibly important. I'm really glad that WW is continuing on this internal external hunger series as well as talking more about mindful eating because it is essential for being successful in weight loss. So now that we've talked about my week, we've talked about the WW workshop topic. Let's jump into this week's weigh-in. As I mentioned in last week's weigh-in, when I talked about hitting hundred pounds loss, I also let you guys know that I had a conversation with my doctor about goal weight and I am more motivated than ever to hit that weight this year. So by staying on track this last week, getting in some movement, really being mindful of what I was eating, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm down one point two pounds. This is coming off a loss last week of over two pounds, so I couldn't be happier. My goal is to have some type of loss on the scale every single week. As I continue to lose weight, I continue to feel better and better. And for me, the scale isn't the be all end all. It's more about how I feel. My body doesn't hurt anymore. There are so many changes that have happened physically to me since losing weight that that is even more important to me than the number on the scale. So I am on the fast track to hitting my goals and this 1.2 
this 1.2 pounds down this week is getting me closer and closer. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Do you fall into this eating because it looks good, sounds good, smells good? Let me know everything down below. And of course, let me know too how your Easter was. I'd love to hear what you did for the holiday. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a future weigh-in video or video in general because I do upload five days a week. Again, check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.